Hello and welcome to the Saudi Expatriates channel. Today, we have an important and intriguing update about the growing baboon population in Saudi Arabia and the measures being taken to address this issue. Let's dive in. Recently, engineer Omar Al Sudes from the National Center for Wildlife (NCW) highlighted a significant challenge in Saudi Arabia: the increasing number of baboons. Al Sudes, who oversees project management at the NCW, emphasized that feeding baboons by passes bee is a key factor contributing to their population growth. Feeding these animals is not only encouraging their reproduction but is also illegal, with a fine of 500 reals for those who violate this law. The NCW has issued a stern warning to residents and citizens about the consequences of such actions. In tackling this issue, the NCW has deployed specialized field teams to manage baboon breeding spots. Remarkably, around 103 breeding sites have been treated in the Asir region alone, which is home to about 18,000 monkeys. These efforts are part of the Damage Assessment and Sustainable Treatment Program for the increasing number of baboons. The program aims to reduce the baboon population, which has been affected by environmental imbalance, lack of natural food due to drought, and a shift in their behavior from wild to domesticated. This increase in the baboon population has led to various social, health, and environmental issues. Baboons are known to attack people, spread diseases, destroy crops, and even break into homes and businesses, creating challenges for local residents and tourists. The NCWS ambitious treatment program, ongoing for over 40 years, is structured in three stages. It includes a comprehensive field study, integration of treatment operations, and ensuring the sustainability of these solutions. Just last month, Dr. Muhammad Ali Kurban, CEO of the NCW, progressed to the second phase in the Al Baha region. This ongoing effort involves 30 field teams employing scientifically based methods to manage the baboon population in various affected areas. It's clear that the NCW is taking decisive steps to address the baboon issue in Saudi Arabia. As residents and visitors, it's our responsibility to support these efforts by complying with the regulations and avoiding feeding these animals. Thank you for watching. For more updates, visit saudiexpatriates.com and follow us on our social media channels. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.